some of you might already be uh, using the online web interfaces for your, your favorite data source, whether that's Google Scholar, Google Scholar Profiles, PubMed, Scopus, Crossref, the Web of Science, or the now defunct Microsoft Academic. If you're happy with that experience, by all means, continue to use them. However, as a freestanding piece of software, Publisher Parish has a number of advantages over these web interfaces. First, you're not locked into one provider being completely dependent on what they offer because with Publisher Parish you have access to multiple data sources from one and the same interface. So you can use uh, run the same query in different data sources to compare and use the best results. Publisher Parish also calculates a much wider range of metrics than the other data sources. Most of the web interfaces are run by commercial companies and they provide only a limited number of, of metrics, typically only uh, publications, citations and sometimes the h-index. And as a user you typically have little influence about uh, over what they are offering and there's usually little opportunity to provide feedback or, or suggest new features. Publisher Paris is development is developed by academics for academics. We know what type of analysis academics are interested in and, and for what purposes. We also listen to users if they suggest new features and, and hundreds of new features have been added over the last 15 years. Second, web interfaces also have some limitations. Many of them tend to focus on eye candy over content and are therefore typically very, very slow to load. By the time that some of them are fully loaded, I usually have already completed my search in, in Publisher Parish. And web interfaces usually only provide 10 or at most 20 results per page. That means that if you're searching for an academic with hundreds of publications, or if you're doing a literature review where you get hundreds of results, you have to tediously click through page by page by page, making it extremely hard to get a clear overview of your results. Finally, in most of the web interfaces, each search replaces the previous search. Although in some of them you can keep a record of your searches, you cannot usually directly compare them, which is something you can do very, very easily in Publish or Perish. Now, the bottom line is that web interfaces are typically designed for one-off searches, getting you the, the, the top 10 results uh, for an incidental search. It is really difficult for websites to facilitate complex analysis, as in addition to everything else, they typically have to ensure accessibility on a multitude of platforms, including really small smartphones. Standalone software allows for more complex features. So here are some of the things you can do in Publish or Perish that are not possible or far more difficult to do in most of the web interfaces. First, storing, organizing and repeating queries again and again. Second, sorting the results by any field rather than filtering them. Third, selecting or deselecting individual or sets of publications. And finally, flexibly exporting the results and metrics for further analysis in, for instance, Excel on, or statistical programs. All this makes Publisher Parish far more suitable for those wanting to do serious and repeated analysis in academia. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. I've been running a user survey for years with more than 7,000 responses by now. And this is some of the feedback that I recently received. I will give you a few moments to read it. <laughs> 